Hello, my cellos. Let's go over our bow hold review. We've got two methods. We're going to go over first the rubber band method because that's what we started with. Starting off, hold your right hand up. Make sure your fingers are nice and loose. Put that thumb right in there. You see I've got the edge of the frog and then this leather or plastic wrapping right there. There's a little space. Put your thumb right there. Tip of the thumb right inside. Then next, I'm going to put my pinky inside my rubber band so that it only covers the nail of my pinky. Okay, so so far I have those two fingers and we've got the easiest one. Ready? Drop. Once you drop, your fingers most likely are going to be pretty close together. So drop and then just, just move them, spread them out. More leverage. I like to put my ring finger on that little uh, silver, Mine, mine's gold, but yours is most likely silver. A little silver piece right there. Rest the middle finger and first finger goes right there. Okay, gives us a nice flexible bow hold. And then from there, we can also do our second method. Take your hand off, rubber band, or no rubber band this time until the end. Uh, keep your fingers nice and loose. This is the animal method we talked about. Thumb in, drop the middle two, wiggle the ears. We said mine was a llama um, named Philip, because why not? Uh, so here's Philip, and then I, I'm going to add Philip to my bow. I undo, start to build it again around the bow, thumb in there, drop the two middle fingers, and then drop. Notice that the pinky is still right there with the rubber band, so I can take this bow hold and I can still make the other one work. The rubber band method. Okay, we also have a third trick that we can do. Um, once we've established our thumb, we know thumb bump, texting thumb, thumb manager, that's us. Um, and we know that we just drop. So another thing that you can do, once you start to get uh, strong with that bow hold, you don't need your rubber band as much. A lot of bows have these dots in the middle of the frog. If your bow doesn't have one, it's okay. It's just right center, right in the center of the frog. Uh, you could add a reinforcer or a sticker if you wanted to, but you would just cover it up with the pinky. And then there's your bow hold as well. So you have a couple options for a cello. So there you go. Enjoy. I don't know why I just turned my bow like that. Who knows? I will see you guys in our next class. Bye.